that is uh, 16 LEDs, high output, super blue. Okay, this is going to be my alternative to infrared night vision um, for non night shot camcorders, such as the Canon uh, HV30, which is very popular. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like in complete darkness. Alright, as you can see, I'm not even holding the uh, setup, it's down on the sink, and it lights up pretty nice. Alright, so that's it down there. Probably turn the exposure down just a little. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick this up and see what kind of uh, see what kind of light we can uh, get from it. Alright, so I got 16 LEDs, super blue, high output. Good coverage. It doesn't really uh, light up the environment too much. As you can see, if I turn the camera away from the spotlight, you'll see that it goes pretty much into darkness. And I'm in a small little bathroom. And then another thing I'm working on as well is I'm going to add a dimmer circuit to it so that you can control the brightness. So uh, if you're in tight quarters, uh, if you're ghost hunting or whatever, um, you can turn it down so that you don't overexpose the area. You still keep, keep it pretty dark, but still be able to see. And this is a good alternative for uh, night vision. I'm also making one with uh, green, high output green LEDs. So this, this right here is 16 LEDs, and I'm making one that is a 36 um, LED array with dimmer, so that you can uh, control the uh, illumination. Alright, and this is on cinema mode. Um, maybe I can do a quick test on a couple other modes real quick. Alright, so hang tight. Alright, so this is the AE mode uh, at f2.0. It does a pretty good job at really lighting up the room. As you can see, I'm going to hold the spotlight in place. And you can pretty much still see. Really grainy though, kind of overexposed. Like I said, the dimmer would help out a lot for this. But this is just a test circuit. So. Kind of a cool effect though. Almost looks kind of thermal without any thermal. Yeah. Go figure. Probably good if you were just to hold the light up and not really shine on anything in particular. As you can see, it gives it a even lighting in a small bathroom. This is only 16 LEDs. Alright, so let's try the uh, TV mode. Okay, this is uh, it's in TV mode with a shutter speed of 250. I can pull the light back, it kind of gives it a bigger area. little imitation infrared look. Good for filming those night shots. Give you that creepy effect, you know, while you're sleeping in the room or whatnot. Little uh, paranormal activity, if you could call it that. Alright, so that's the super blue. Alright, so here's the setup again. This time I have the high output green, 16 of them, and we're going to check that out in cinema mode. I won't really go through any other modes. Uh, cinema is probably the best um, 
it's going to have the best result. So, all right, here we go. All right. Green LEDs. In a completely dark bathroom. There you go. Check it out. Dark. Bring the light. Let it focus. Okay. Um, give you an idea. Is there any spirits in this room? Oh shit, what was that? Oh, that was me. Alright. So, this gives you an idea. And these will uh, be available very soon. There'll be 36. The ones that I'm going to be producing are 36 array, high output blues, and a uh, green version with dimming capability. So you can uh, lower the light output for tight quarters like this bathroom. Some of you find this useful, and the, uh, the product that I'm working on is called the Shogun. Um, something. Uh, I already produced the Shogun 35 depth of field adapter for the Canon HP30. Um, that's been out on the market, uh, usually on eBay or Craigslist. You can find it uh, if you're interested. Uh, Send me a message. Alright guys, see you later.